Guys, G- ladies, gentlemen, zeros, heroes, they's, them's, and all the ghouls in between, here we are. Your we're favorite, here. your favorite we're, we're here. flavor of YouTuber. Trash. <laughs> the Cabbage Patch Kids. Or what uh, are those I, trash no, no, baby things like, in the 80s? I like to call us mid uh, Cabbage Patch Kids, right? No, it's, it's, it's like, I think it's... It could be that, but I thought there was a different one that yeah, was like, like the trash little, babies. It's like the little dolls, right? Or dumpster babies. <laughs> I don't know. Well, dumpster that might... babies. That's a, that's something totally different. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Guys, we are your favorite uh Midwest trash YouTube channel, which is what I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start a genre. You know, there's Midwest emo, Midwest YouTube. We're not super great, but we're here for you and we care. Yeah, that's oh, all garbage pale kids. That's what it is. <sighs> You could have just said Alex, kids. <laughs> I could have, but I didn't want to go. Oh there. God, something's happening, Michael. What? The flames. They're rising. As long as they're not talking to you, I think we're good. They're percolating. Percolate. It's the percolate. Do you like it, baby? This is a very like dominatrixy Hellraiser temple, dude. We got like metal <sighs> chains all over the place. Michael's just hoping to get whipped. <laughs> oh yeah. Ever since birth, baby. Ever since that doctor whipped <laughs> the shit out of me. I Ever since was... my mom whipped my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Just been having hankering for it. Somebody smacked me in the beetle. <laughs> <laughs> oh like, my I god, I specifically want to be smacked on the hole. I hate the bombs. That's why I look for people with tiny hands. So when they smack me like, in my Alex, ass. Alex, please. My butthole needs to get smacked. <laughs> <laughs> needs to get smacking. Just get you in like a full Nelson. Just, what up? What up? <laughs> Come on, get smolder. Get get out of here. Dissipate. I need the hammer for that. Uh, Can you use the hammer as a weapon then for yeah. the, throughout the game? Yeah. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Is it better than the sword? Um, I don't know if I can say better than the sword because there's like so like the the hammer has like one specific animation, right? <gasps> I did it. And the one specific animation, I think, is, like, a downward striking motion. So, like, you're going to be better off using the sword because it has a wider variety of attacks, for sure. Oh. Man, I formulated that sentence way better than I thought it was going to. did good. You did good at talking. Did I, did I do good? Yes. Sometimes, you know, it's like something, oh, my lord! Get it. Get him! That's one thing that, like, I, I worry about as I get older is I find myself having a harder time being able to... Articulate? Articulate like I used to be able to and, like, and, like just, like, formulate my sentences. Like, I don't know what's happened in my life where all of a sudden, like, I just... I'm just, like, worse at speaking. Hmm. Uh, but it makes me a little nervous sometimes. I feel, I feel like one day I'm just not going to be able to do it. I'm like... You're going to forget words? Well, I'm just going to talk in, like, gibberish. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of times where I want to find find descriptive words that I know explain a certain thing that I want to explain, but I can't. They don't come to mind, and it stops my train of thought, and I have to, like, stop everything and just, like, no, it's not, well, there's a word that I'm trying to think of because I always want to try to f- sound eloquent, and yeah, however I, way I, like, I can. But Yeah, I like to, like, like and that's, like, something, like, I'll, when I'm when Nicole wants me to express myself. I'll, like, be trying to... Instead of hitting her all the time, you know? She's, <laughs> like, she's like, can we talk through this? And can, <laughs> can you try and not use your fist? <laughs> no, I don't I don't hit my wife. <laughs> uh, I will try and, like, talk and, like, use my words in a way that accurately... Oh, what the heck? Why is... She... Oh, can we grapple up there? It's like, what is up there, Navi? I hate my life <laughs> so much. <laughs> and so when I try and use my words, I'll try and like think of things to say and I just <sighs> I wish we could hookshot Navi. Just like Um oh, we have and to get I can't, up there and I, I think we can it. get up there. I can't I can't figure out a way to like say the words that I need to say that express what I'm trying to say and it bugs me. It makes me mad. So, I and can't I, think of it. I can't. It's when you might want to clench my fist and hit the nearest wall. Are you talking about you get angry sometimes? Yeah, angry. I get angry, angry sometimes. That's the word. <laughs> and I like, yeah, I just, well, it's like, I can't think. There's like a specific word that I'll be looking for. I'm like, uh, it's, it's not this, but it's kind of like that. 
and in a way to like describe my emotions mm-hmm. and I just don't like know the word or like I can't think of a word that makes sense with what I'm trying to say because it's like I'm not angry and I'm not like disappointed I'm like some weird middle ground I'll give thing. you a hint it's, uh, it's always this just every time you're trying to think of a word and you can't think of it just pull out perturbed 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 Define. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's that middle road of just like being slightly annoyed and really angry. I mean, just uh, quite perturbed, like frustrated. It's kind of like another thing for frustrated, I think. But yeah, well, what's 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 uh what's frustrated? Perturbed. Okay. Frustrated, but more sad, but not disappointed. Perturbed is feeling anxiety or concern unsettled. So actually, it's a little bit different. Um, perturbed means I guess you're more. Um, it's more of a cerebral anxiety scaredness. So I was a little bit wrong. Okay. It's still useful in the old word word belt. I fucking hate that skeleton. Get the heart. Yeah. Whoa. Flame wall. Okay. Cool. That saves us. Okay. We're at a higher elevation. I did not think that I was going to be able to make that jump, which is why I kept going back and forth like an idiot. I did not think I was going to be able to make that, but I'm happy to see I did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what's going to be cool power what? to see in Baldur's Gate 3? Firewall or something like that. Uh, dude, I'm I'm like super pumped up for that game to be finished. It's coming out in 2023, apparently. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm not waiting. <laughs> Like I'm not waiting around for it. Like me and Tyler, we just we're like if we're if we're not almost done, we're basically there of like replaying through it just with different like oh I don't want to jump down there. I'm sure that's gonna be a, a bad move. Uh I just got done playing as a barbarian in that game. You finished the all the content that they had? Well there's there's not much you can do in that game because oh Well and I think you can go through, you can only get to the through the first act, right? Well, you can get through the first act, but like there also gets to a point of the game where, like, uh, you start not being able to do stuff just because you're under-leveled. Like, you really have to kind of, like, work your shit around a little bit because you are only, you only have up to level four. Mm. Really? Okay. And we don't know if they're going up to 20. I think they said they're 15 or 12 or 10. Yeah, I don't know what the, the the final level is, but like, so you can only go up to level four right now in the in the beta or alpha, whatever it is. And so, like, once you get to a certain point, like, you really can't even do the stuff that they that they have left for you to do, just because you're you're under level, you can't do it. It mm-hmm. gets to the point where it's like impossible. And you know, it's that 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 I guess that makes sense. Maybe they. Well, it seems like you could, if there's other content, it's probably just really hard to do because I'm sure people have done it, right? I'm sure people have done it. I can't, it, it's not impossible. It's just unlikely. I need bombs. Of course. Whoa! I. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I'll just keep moving this way. It's weird that these boulders have sentience. Oh, they know how to make you mad. Oh, damn. How the. No, well, there's a door right here. I can at least take this door. See what's going on here. The, that that boulder hit me. Was like, <laughs> like that bit. <laughs> hey. All right. Big old box. Got? Big old one. This is gonna be a big boy. It's, it's compass, not gonna be a map. It's compass map or it's the hammer. I hope it's the hammer. Ugh. Gotta love the compass. Ugh. But you know they 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 were talking about um, uh, Larian Studios. We're talking about how oh you know we want we would love to go as high as possible level level cap. But you think about powers like wish and stuff like how would you do that in a battle format? And I thought of the answer. It's, it's a super easy answer. What what would you do? Don't have wish. wish. Well, you could have wish, but I think I think the way you could have it is it would only be able to influence like story elements or cutscenes. Like, things that would seem, like, only specific things that would be unlocked behind your character having a wish. Either that or the wish, or they would just restrict the wish spell to be able to do only certain things, right? Yeah. Like, it could just be... (laughs) Like, you could skip fights. You could skip fights sometimes. If, like, during the command prompt, there's a wish prompt that you could, if you have wish. And see, I wouldn't even even make it that powerful. I would say something more like, oh, because, like, in, like, in the actual rules of D&D... Like, people have Wish, and they're like, oh, well, you could do anything. But Wish actually only lets you 
do certain things. It doesn't let you just do anything. But, you know, DMs kind of just, like, role play it like that because it's more fun that way. Yeah, and I guess, um, sorry guys, I mean, if you're watching gamers play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, I'm sure you've dabbled in D&D. So sometimes we kind of like segue into these things. It's uh, hard not to talk about D&D. It's a big yeah. passion of me and Michael's. Mm. So we can't go that way. I can't go this way without bombs. Is there a grappling hook uh, situation? Okay. Can you like, oh, can you jump from these tiki top things? Like the things? Like I pull the pole? I don't think I really can get hard, on though. those. Okay, but you can't grapple hook a bat, you monster. That's what the that's what the text said. It's like, why are you trying to grapple a bat? What did the bat ever do to you? It's not like it flies into the nearest flame and then attacks you like a kamikaze bat boy, dark yeah, bird. They, I'll tell you what. If this game was a friend in the room where they have two doors that you need to throw bombs at for them to work, they would have put two bombs at least in those jars. I'm gonna go out and say it. I'm gonna say it. Well, that'd be very. Uh, that'd be very. Uh, Legend of Zelda. It. Well, that'd be very like convenient and unbelievable. Michael, this they want to make their world a little bit more. I'm wearing a red tunic to protect me from the heat instead of volcano. I think at this point I got past unbelievable. <laughs> I think I think we passed it already. <laughs> well, it, yeah, they could have been way more. They could, you could be wearing a volcano hat. Fuck me. Or you just like cut your throat and then <laughs> just kill yourself <laughs> instantly, like, like so you don't have to like. If that was an option, I consider it. Okay, so that's a time block up there, isn't it? Let me try this. Uh, um, and then what was the song of time? Do 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 do. Running out of time. Time to get the song. The song of time. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh, right a down, right a down, right a down. Oh, <laughs> right, right a down, right, down. right a, a down. down. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Travel through time. You know, then uh, the new Zelda should. You know how they. They incorporate different kind of science, scientific theories. Like, so this is, well, not time isn't a theory, but uh, like scientific uh, mechanisms like time in this one. I think there's other ones at a dream state or twilight. Um, but, um, and then actually, what's that one where you could travel inside the walls and like cracks? It was for like the handheld uh, system. Oh, that was the... Uh... Like the shadow, your shadow can travel through. Yeah, I know exactly exactly what you're talking about. Actually, it's um, between two worlds. Ah, so I was gonna say they should do one that like kind of like uh, nods towards string theory and stuff like that. But I think that actually, in itself, that one already kind of does that in a sense, but not too much. Yeah, I feel like at a certain point that might get lost on the people. Maybe. Pewit, pewit, pewat. I feel like every game has to have, like, a goop monster. Who do you think made it popular? Oh, my God. I mean, it, 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 it's got to be. It's got to be that. You don't think there's any goop monster? No, I'm <laughs> sure there was. Let's not, let's not take away from the other great video games that came out beforehand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mario had a goop monster, right? There's got to be a goop monster in Mario. Let's I mean, now there is. Because Zelda did it first. Mm, yeah, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> is that all that was in here? Is that all I did that for? Yeah, man. Little... Gold Skull Boy and your first at Goop Monster experience. Yeah, uh, Gold Skull, Goop Monster, and you just got goop. Murder Tiles. Ugh, buns me out. I was hoping for some bombs because I need bombs and I don't want to go and do something specific for bombs. I just want them to be given to me because I'm lazy. Wow, you freeloader off the government. I am a freeloader. Just waiting for my checks to cash. <laughs> what? Bridge card isn't enough. You need some EBT cash too, dude. Me and uh, back in the Diz out, me and Tyler used to get some uh, get stakes on the government's uh, paycheck. Yeah, yeah, good times. Well, you guys had an EBT card. Well, Tyler did. Oh, <laughs> Tyler just seems like you guys don't know him at all. But 
<sighs> yeah, we're just gonna talk about him for a second. But Tyler just seems like the guy that, as soon as he would do something like that, like uses e EBT card and just like, hey, government's cheese. And he just, he always does the little like, <laughs> like little ratty laugh. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like, uh, what's his nuts the from Billy uh, Madison? From Recess. Oh, Recess. What's that, what's that Randall guy? Oh, Randall, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> or that weasel laugh that they say from Happy Gilmore or whatever, like the yeah, that uh, one guy. It's Adam Sandler laughing. <laughs> no, not him. He does laugh. It's like the that evil too. dude that he he makes fun of his laugh. The lawyer dude. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's laughing. also his his actor played in Cabin in the Woods as one of the people working behind the scenes is like releasing the monsters. And Billy Madison. It was either, yeah, I think it's Billy Madison, the lawyer dude, or the guy that's trying to get rid of all of his money and try to take his uh, oh, fortune. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And they do the spelling bee at the end of the movie. Yep, and he's the guy that wants to see the mermaid real bad. Yes, that guy. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, man, I'll never get to see a mermaid. I'm being eaten by a mermaid. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. I wish they made a number two to that. Well, that was like Chris Hemsworth, actually, one of his movies I'm glad, before. I'm glad they didn't, you know? I know. It's one of those things where it's like, sometimes a movie should just be that. I guess, to be like kind of sacred in my memories, but it's not like I, wa I don't watch movies over and over again. I don't either. So it's like, but I, I have no use for it anymore, like, so I could be excited about every time. I, but if they redid it, right? And they're like, hey, here's Cabin in the Woods 2. They'd they, have to really nail it, right? Because if they don't nail yeah. it, I'm just going to be like... All right, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, they usually don't do that, but you that's know it was what, actually pretty good. <laughs> it would be like the same thing how they handled. Uh, but that was, uh, I feel like the Evil Dead reboot was a success. But no one, but no, but but nobody cared about it too much. Yeah, that's the same because I love that movie. Yeah, the new Evil Dead, for all intents and purposes, it would be treated the same way. You're taking a cult classic and you're redoing it, and that was a successful. Yeah, uh, I thought I execution. thought the storyline of that movie was super good. I thought everything was real freaky. Mm -hmm. I thought uh, all like the scenes with the demons were you know effed up. Yeah, they're good. And that and when, crazy and, bloodbath at the end. Was I like, was yeah. I was gonna say spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie when she puts the chainsaw in that thing's mouth and it starts raining blood. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is it. This is all I wanted <laughs> from this movie. This is exactly what I needed to see. Yeah, and it was great. Yeah, it was good. I don't know. Like, it, I think everyone just got all bent out of shape because. Uh, you know, Bruce Camp wasn't it, which I get. You know, he is that's that's like his movies, mm -hmm. and now he's in the TV series of Evil Dead, so it's kind of weird that they couldn't get him to just well, yeah. Well, that TV show is over now. I never watched it, yeah. That. It went through its entire run, it they had a season or a series finale on it. Um, and he's happy, like, I, I, can, I can't imagine he's like unhappy with it because he even did a little cameo at the end of the uh, of the remake. Hmm. Where, like, I guess it wasn't really a cameo. Just, like, when the... After all of the uh, credits rolled, it, like, went dark. And then it, like, showed his face, like, out of the king, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that was it. <laughs> uh, so, like, yeah, I mean, he was... And they had, a, they had planned on, like, fusing the two worlds together and... They'd have like a whole combination of the two characters, but they just never did hmm. because the movie just didn't do as well as they would hoped, I guess. Which sucks. They didn't give it. A, I don't think they gave it the shot that it deserved. Well, there's an Evil Dead game out now or coming out. We or, should play that. It's a. Uh, I think it's kind of like a, a Dead by Daylight situation. Yeah, I heard. I heard it was giving. It was giving people a lot of like Dead by Daylight vibes and a lot of. Uh, fr uh, what is the. Fr I kill both of them at the same time? Oh, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, Friday the Thirteenth, which was another game that didn't, it didn't, it didn't deserve what it got. That sucks. And you know what? We'll talk about that. I think next episode. I think that I think that we kind of we've we've yeah, done the content on there. Uh, guys, what games do you want us to play? We like we we love suggestions. We don't get yeah. many of them. Leave it in the suggestion box. That's what, you know, YouTube. You could take this idea for free. Maybe give me a cut. There should be a suggestion box on everybody's channel that people can leave suggestions for like a dollar. Or you get somebody can. Uh, the, oh, so like so like a place where people could comment their suggestions for you to get feedback on your channel with the new next. It's like a yeah. It's like a. It's uh, like a comment section. It's like they will like it forces the creator. <laughs> <laughs> But put it behind a paywall, so it makes the creator have to like read these ones more. So oh, oh so it's called. 
Patreon. <laughs> It's like a comment section Patreon, okay? It's a fusion. It's not... Don't simplify my idea. I hate to break it to you, Michael. It's not Patreon. It's not your best idea. It's not Patreon at all. But really, Patreon? Patreon is just a place where people can pay you for nothing. You do stuff on Patreon. Well, there's like unlockables, right? There's like tiers. Yeah, like like they there is content that the reason why people do pay for. So it's not like you're they're just throwing money at people. Well, then YouTube can streamline it and have that money go towards YouTube instead of Patreon. So. Yeah, yeah. If uh, YouTube's got to implement their own Patreon, so that way they can just keep it all in house. Mm-hmm. And then within like a year and a half, YouTube's got porn. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, go uh, guys, like, go watch porn for us. All right, fap one out for yeah, us. Yeah, look up Uchi Tree on uh, Pornhub.com, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll see you there.